Hello everyone, we are back. Hi Lee. Hey David. How you doing? Pretty good, got my spinning mojo back. Oh, very nice. I'm excited. So, do you want to go first with this week's updates or do you want me to go first? I'll go first because your updates are cooler. Okay. So, I have these two bobbins. Ooh. I like so it. This, the four ounces of fiber that I did a not super great job of dividing evenly, but that's okay. We do our best. Uh, there was an attempt made. Uh, I think it's called fractal. So instead of dividing it in half and then spinning directly from that half, I split. So I split it into two halves to get them on two bobbins. Okay. Split one of the halves in half and the other in two quarters lengthwise to see how the colorways would split out. So Interesting. one has long colorways. I'm not sure if you can see that. Long yeah. colorway. And this bobbin has very short colorways. Ooh, okay. so we see how those play next to each other. That's they interesting. Will be, they will they are sisters and not twins by design. Okay. And I thought I'd give it a shot because this is the season of exploration of spinning until I get good at it and more deliberate. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize you could. That was a way of playing with it, of just like splitting it long ways like that. Yeah, the world of color theory is actually kind of insane in terms of how many different ways you can split out the same fiber and you can get fiber that is dyed in a modeled way. And some spinners will like pick out all of one color and separate it hmm. so that you have a ton of different options from the starting fiber into what you end up with. And uh, many years from now, when I am good, I will I will do more of that. But right now, I will look up cool spinners like Laura Linneman yeah. from The Knit Girls. I'm not sure if that's still a podcast, but I loved it back in the day. She used to do spinning, and that was a method that she had brought up. Oh. So tried it and it was fun it was interesting to work with a different diameter of fiber as you're spinning because your hands have to move differently right. and I'm, I'm glad i picked it up that's really cool like i want to hear more of as as your experiments go on i want to hear more and more about like the different ways you split it up and how it oh, comes out many Experiments to come. It will become immensely boring for all who watch, and hopefully not to me. <laughs> I'll be very interested to see it and um, and how it knits up and the differences that is and what you what you take to. I think that's what I'm most interested to hear about is what you actually end up really liking for yourself. Yeah, I'm excited to see what it knits up in. So I'm going to do another experiment with Fractal and send that to you because you knit so, so much faster than me. And I'll say, hey, David, make this into a thing. What does that thing look like? And we will learn. I'm looking forward to it, and I am excited, especially since you're back to spinning. So I'm going to be biding my time until I can open that package of yarn. Stella uh, got through back. Yeah. I uh, will pick out a next one and then uh, do fractal intentionally the entire time and say, hey, David, make this into a thing. Awesome. I am so looking forward to that. So, But once you make that yarn into something, you'll have to give us a follow-up on how it kind of plays out in an actual item. I will see. I'm trying. Awesome. But... Glad to hear that it's coming back and you're trying something new with it. Tell us about what you're working on. Um, so last week we I talked about my mermaid tails. I actually got one finished, which I am really excited about. Yay! And you can see the tail's actually like attached now. So. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank I you. like the color combination. Me too. Like, um, I actually talked to Lauren, who is my friend, who is the friend I'm knitting it for, for uh, gr girls. I got their favorite colors, so it was a good, um, I was really happy when I actually got the yarn and it looked nice together. Um, and also, the next one I'm doing is going to be purple 
the tank, so that will also look good together. I'm working on the second one. Killer blanket? Is it a blanket that like wraps around, or is it flat? No, well, the one I did is actually um a circular, so though they can go into it, but the pattern that I got, which is really cool actually gives you both options so you can actually do it where it's a flat blanket or you can do like a circular blanket where the, you can actually have like a mermaid tail yeah because i've seen a couple of different options online so i wasn't sure how you would finish it but i like it better that you can like be the mermaid inside of the blanket oh yeah like i am so excited to see their reactions and the pictures and videos that is going to take place when they actually like look and play with the blankets because I know they're going to be excited. Um, I know I showed Lauren like a picture of it today and she was like very excited about it. So I'm going to send it to them probably in a week or two and because their birthdays are like right around the corner. So it's going to be cool and exciting and it's going to be fun. But it's, I like it. I also really like the pattern just because it's simple, it's not complicated, but it comes out really nice and it looks very different. Um, it does look much more involved than you claim it is. Yeah, like that's the thing, it's very, very simple, so it's just kind of blanket size, so it just, that's what takes more time, the fact that, you know, it's blanket, so it's like this one is a hundred, a little over a hundred stitches around. The other one is like ninety stitches around. So, what size needle? That's also the other thing that's really nice. I am using an eleven size needle. So nice, thick needles. So that's a progress game. Means you're getting in the double digits. Yeah, like that's the thing. I I normally don't use such a thick needle. So that's also the thing is just what makes it so quick is just like um, the thick needle just I'm like oh hey look at that I have like three feet on in no time yeah that's great. yeah so that that is exciting I I got the fin done for the other second one I'm in the body of the mermaid tail so I I have tomorrow off so hopefully I should get most, if not all, but done. But I have to find the struggle of what I'm working on next. So. Yeah, that is the struggle. I think it's going to be me, my Friday off, plying this after whatever de minimis plying I do tonight, and then winding up more yarn to finish my scarf because scarf progress from last week stalled because I was too lazy to wind more yarn. <laughs> the struggle of knitting. I mean, that is why I got back into spinning, because I thought, you know, the wheel's right over there and ready, or the yarn requires winding. Decisions were made. Yes. <laughs> I feel like it's not a bad decision. It's just a different decision. I regret nothing. Yeah. I wouldn't either. So, yeah. I'll, so, next week, I'll give you a full update on what I'm working on next. I think it might... Like, I know you were suggesting this yarn... It's oh. so beautiful. Yeah, so probably that will be um, either that or I got some nice big Karen cakes that I might use. So I might make a big old blanket with a couple of those. I have three skeins skeins of that, or I think two of these, if not three. So um, we'll see what what see see what happens. We'll see what happens. Then, well. I'm yeah, and I'm sure audience are very excited to see what comes next. Oh, yes. Anyway, I think that is where we will leave you tonight, and we will see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.